Hi, I'm RLB. And I'm RDB. And we're here with yet another Japanese subscription snack box for you. Um, this one is a brand new one for us. It is called da -na 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 Okashi Connection. From what I understand, this box has been around for a while. Um, it might even be one of the oldest ones, um, but hopefully it's an oldie but a goodie. The stats are there's just one size box and it's $22 uh, anywhere in the world, free shipping. It comes from Tokyo um, or Japan. I think it's Tokyo. Uh, let me see. It just says Japan on there. Chiba. Somewhere. Chiba, Japan. Um, yeah, so I was reading their site and they try and pack about a pound worth of stuff. There's no real number, like some people ask how many sweets do or uh, snacks do I get in each box. And they say, well, we're more focused on the weight of the box. So um, they say they focus on about a pound each box. So yeah, that's it really. So let us dive in, shall we? Okay. So here we go. They give you a little pamphlet, very cute. It tells you everything that comes in it, which we love. We definitely do. Because that helps to know what's in it. Okay. So our first thing here, which I'm looking forward to, is this. Country Man Lemon Cookies. Country Man Cookies are always spectacular. They are so soft, moist, and full of flavor. These are a special series of flavors of Country Man. Uh, Country Man is made with the theme of traveling. And the lemon had the most summer feeling in packaging. It is very likely that you will eat all of them in one sitting. Ooh, that sounds good, but bad at the same time. And I love lemons, so. Oh, good. And these cookies are all individually wrapped, which I like. One for you. Ooh, one for me. <clears throat> I'm looking forward to these. Oh, it's very small. Look at that little thing. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Mm. They're mm. correct. Mm. These mm. are very good. Mm -hmm. mm. I love lemon cookies, and this is a perfect example of one. Mm. 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 Thumbs up. Oh, yeah. Already a contender for a favorite thing in the box. Very nice. Mmm. Okay. So the next thing I see here is a bunch of marshmallows by Kalpis. It says Kalpis is a milky yogurt-like substance that is both sweet and a little tangy. It meshes well with the marshmallows, which are already a creamy treat. There is a fine sweet powder coating the marshmallows. Oh, okay. And in the center, there's a pocket of calpis in the form of jelly. You know what calpis sounds like? Cow. <laughs> That's what it sounds like to me. Way, yay! And these aren't all melted together! Yay! Yeah, they're perfect. Perfect. Cheers. Hmm. That's the middle. Really? message. It's good. It's unique. Um, hmm. I like it. I do too. It's, uh, it's hard to describe. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's not... jelly. It's kind of soda-y. The flavor is. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, it's sweet. And it sort of tastes like carbonated to me. It almost is like a sweet lemon to me or something. Like yeah. Not lemon like the cookies we just had, but yeah, it's a very unique flavor. I don't know. But yeah, it's good. I like yeah. it. Yeah. All right. Now, this thing is very intriguing. Oops. This is black ramen. It's called Potato Long Black Ramen. These are a really interesting looking snack. They are the size and shape of actual fries, but they are black. They have a potent ramen flavor with a noticeable garlic flavor in the aftertaste, but also have a smooth and subtle sweetness that makes the taste very special. That worries me. <clears throat> I'm looking forward to this. Yeah. Hmm. Ooh, 
That is garlicky. So here's what it looks like. Hmm. They are black potato sticks. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think it's very overpowering. I guess I expect it to be overwhelmed by the taste, but it's nice and enjoyable and light. It is. Slightly garlicky. Yeah, it's good. It's not I guess I can taste a little bit of ramen flavor in it, but not, not a cloying, overwhelming amount. Really? It's a funny. The first bite tasted like a steak, but after that, I didn't... <laughs> I didn't really taste it. I wish. Yeah. But there is a picture of... Is that a steak? I don't know. There's an egg on there. That's very weird. That's good. Yeah, those are good. I like that. The next thing up is this thing with a chameleon, I think, on it. Chameleon candy. These are hard candies that act like a mood ring. They all look brown at first and have a cola flavor, but beneath the cola is another color and flavor. If the inside is red, it means you're happy. Yellow means a little happy, green means so-so, and purple means not happy at all. Hmm. Okay. So they look like little chocolate balls, really. Hmm. Well, we're not gonna suck all the way through them, but uh, we'll try them for a little bit. Mmm, cola, very nice. Very good. Mm-hmm. Or how long we'll have to suck on it in order to get our mood red. I don't think we have time for that. Yeah. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> it is good. It's all right. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I'm not a huge uh, lover of hard candies. I mean, it's fine once in a while if you just need something, but meh. Other than that, I'm not a, it's not a big thing for me. I would like this while I was driving. <laughs> well, yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah. Oh, I'm breaking through. Hmm. Oh, now it's clear. Yellow. What does yellow mean? A little happy. Yeah, all right. I'll take that. And you got that too. Or and I would say they taste like lemon. Was mine green? Was there a green option? Yeah, but I don't really think the color's any different. Mine tastes like a uh, green apple. Mine something. tastes like lemon. Oh, I guess it is different. It's just subtle though. I mean, so that means you're so-so and I'm a little happy. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that could be accurate. I'm okay. I've had a long day. Hmm. But we got a new couch today. Yay! Yeah. Okay, spitting it out. Moving on. Can you spit it out? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've had these before, these puka fishy things. But this is another lemon flavor. It says puka lemon choco. These aren't even really in the stores yet, so we had to order this one blindly without actually testing it. Ooh. Mm. Puka is a really great treat, so having tried the chocolate and strawberry before, it's probably a good bet these are also amazing. <laughs> I'm glad that they admitted that to you. That's nice. What we do know is that the outside is a crispy pretzel and on the inside is a lemony chocolate cream. Sounds great and we are also excited to try them. So basically they're saying if you don't like them, it's not our fault. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad. Okay, so we open it up. Fishies, hmm. squids, fish. Uh, smells lemony. Here's the fishy. Mm. Yeah, it's a lemon pretzel. Yeah, I like it. Mm -hmm. I like that. It's um, I like when I like uh, sour fruit flavors. I like them on the sour side. Like you know how lemon they can make it really sweet, and this is more tart, which I love. So this is really good. The it's still a little sweet, but the tartness and the uh, saltiness of the pretzel, mm. it's really good. Yeah, you could spend all day not one of these. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. All right. I like that. Oh, good. I'm put the thing. Close it back up. <gasps> Moving on. 
Okay, we got something Pokemon related. This is pineapple chewing candy. Note, this is not gum. That's in all caps, so they are serious about that. Even though it looks like a stack, a stick of chewing gum, it is not gum. It is a chewy candy with a nice soft pineapple flavor. Each stick is wrapped with a little card. Some of the things you might get are Pokemon bios, quizzes, and stickers, all in Japanese, of course, which is pretty cool. Pubic, Pubic. Sorry, the cats over here doing things they shouldn't be doing. As usual, always when we're making movies. <laughs> I'm sure you guys have seen, if you've watched any of our videos when we were doing them in the kitchen, you've seen our cats wandering behind us. They're like, eh. All right, so we've got like a pack wrapped in, their sticks wrapped in all different colors. So here's a blue, because I know you like blue. I'll take this red, it's got some kind of chick on it. Oh, it just comes out real quick. So this could be a bio. Maybe if you know Pokemon, you can recognize him and tell me what his name is. It's a chick of some sort. Pubic! Pubic! Stop it. I'm gonna throw something at my cat. Okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. So it looks like gum. It really does look like gum. Mmm, pineapple. Mmm, good. I like pineapple. Mmm, good. Good because it's like a tartar pineapple. Mmm. And it is candy, you can tell because it's shrinking as you are chewing it. Masticating. Mm. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. That's I like good. that. I need the whole thing. Did you eat the whole thing? I'm about to. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll put mine back. Take a sip of water. Mm. So far I've liked everything. Yeah, except for the candy, but you know, again, that's not my big thing. All right. So then there's this Doraemon thing. This is Doraemon Toke Gum. Doraemon is a famous manga character. He's a robot cat from the future. You can see him everywhere in Japan. In this case, he's on the package of this gum. There are two pieces of gum, lemon and soda. The makers pulled a trick by making the lemon, the yellow gum soda and the blue gum lemon. It's hmm. a very soft gum and does well for blowing bubbles. Okay. Well, I'll take the lemon gum and that would be blue and you can take the soda gum i'm just gonna take a bite Ooh, it's very soft sorry didn't hold it up hold up this is what it just a simple stick of it's got some powder on it mm. good this is the soda gum soda gum yeah yeah because it says the yellow gum is soda and the blue gum is lemon. They tricked us. Ha <laughs> hmm. It's kind of odd. It seemed like lemon at first to me. Maybe. It's because you know why? Because your brain told you it was going to be lemon. That could be. Because you weren't really listening to what I was reading. I listened to it, but <laughs> I bit into it and it tastes like lemon. Yeah, I mean, I think that the initial sting of Ramune flavor mm. is always lemon to me. Yeah. I don't know. It's good. It's gum. You know, it's gum. Eh. Okay. Yeah, that's all right. All right, I'm gonna spit it out. <laughs> okay. So we may continue with this. Let us shake things up a bit. This looks very good. This is a big box too. This is fried potato sticks cheese. This salty treat comes in a nice big box. The bag inside is filled with thin cut potato chip sticks that are full full of a strong cheese taste. They are a great snack to have with soda. <laughs> All right, well, I'm just going to have water. You have soda, right? Ah. ah. <laughs> I hate when that happens. There we go. This is like it wraps all the way around. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. So, do that. I have, so it's potato sticks, just like those ramen sticks, I wonder. Oh, wow, they're really small sticks. They're like hmm. baby french fries. <laughs> well, 
They look good. Now we'll see. Two strings. They mm -hmm. smell like cheese somewhat. Mmm. Mm. This is like. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. These are good. Mmm. It's like something I've had before. Tastes like American cheese to me. You know, I think it tastes like like cheddar cheese ruffles. I think. Hmm. I don't know. Definitely tastes like cheesy potato chips. Mmm. So good. Mmm. Very good. Mmm. Oh yeah. Love it. Yeah, definitely. Love it. Mmm. I don't even want to stop eating that, but we have to. <laughs> good. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. All right. So let's see. Uh, this thing this way this is moco moco that's like the name of that toilet that we got the moco moco toilet I'm mm. not sure what that means moco moco hemo q gummy there are many different kinds of gummy and this one is quite unique it's one giant rope half of it melon soda and half of it ramenate it's a hard gummy with a flavor that is not too overpowering you get a surprising amount of gummy for the package size Okay. Whoa, this is like entrails. Huh. Wow. It looks like intestines, doesn't it? Yeah, kind of. Uh, kind of reminds me of pea pods. Yeah, yeah, that too, pea yeah. pods. Hmm. Oh, okay, so it is one long gummy. This is cool. Hmm. Look at that. Make a necklace out of it. <laughs> yeah, you could, a nice sticky one. Okay, so which kind do you want, the green or the um, blue? I don't care. All right, we can take blue. I'll take the green. So this is gummy, so we're supposed to swallow it. Hmm. This tastes like a flavor I've had before. This tastes like nerds. Um. God, it was a flavor they made a long time ago. I don't remember what, but it tastes like nerds to me. Like vintage nerds back, you know, like in the 90s. Hard to explain. What does yours taste like? That's <laughs> what I think. <laughs> Mine tastes like, like detergent. Ugh. Like liquid detergent smells, but sweet. It's, I remember my mom had detergent of some sort. You take the cap off and smell it. And this is what this tastes like. You sure you never ate it or drank it? <laughs> Just a little bit? Maybe, perhaps, I don't know. <laughs> if you get hungry enough, I guess. Well, okay, so uh, we're not too big fans of those, I guess. It's not bad. It's just, it's, well, it's mm, strange. It's neat, though. Yeah, it's yeah. It's more fun to play with than eat, in my opinion. Yeah. But it's cool looking. I mean. I don't hate it. Yeah. I got love for it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't hate it. All right. I ain't mad at you. Is that what they say? <laughs> uh, okay. So it looks like something more lemony. It's a very lemony, summery box, which I like. So I like lemon. Sour lemon chewing gum. We decided to give you another gum to try this month. This is a really fun gum because only one of them is super sour. Each piece is a ball and the center is where the sour sourness will come from when you bite into it. It's fun because biting into one, each one is a mystery. The gum is harder than the Dorymon, so it chews better, but it doesn't blow bubbles as well. Okay. So you have three choices. <laughs> Just simple yellow balls. Okay. What's it gonna be? Dun, 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 Pick one, please. I take this one from the other end. Oh God. I got the shower one. Oh God. Oh God. <laughs> oh God. Oh God, oh, oh. Not that bad? Wow. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> it must be really sour. I've only eaten half. Mm. Oh. <laughs> I still have half left. Here, honey, you want the powder in your mouth? You see what sour means? Oh, so I mix it with the one I got? No, spit it out. <laughs> Oh. Makes you want to punch your mama. <laughs> mm. 
That's like drinking battery acid or something. Mmm. Wow. That's no joke. Yay, we survived. Amen. Hallelujah. All right. Huh. Mm. You chose poorly. I could say that I chose wisely. Mm. But, you know. Besides, it looks good on camera, right? I mean, we didn't know which one it was going to be. I just had the luck of getting it. <laughs> okay. Speed it out. Let's move on. Well, I guess we know that this one's going to be sweet, I guess. <laughs> so the last thing we have is something that I've seen other people get in their boxes, uh, and I am looking forward to it because uh, I like bakery treats type thing. So this is Choco and Pan. These are a really simple but dense, but really delicious pastry. They're a moist, dense bread filled with a heavy chocolate cream similar to cake frosting. <sighs> they taste great with milk or coffee. I bet they taste great by themselves as well. Mmm, okie dokie. Oh, do we want to pull it open all the way? Okay. Oh. Oh, it smells wonderful. It smells like a bakery. Smell it. Oh, that does smell good. Oh, they're so cute. Little dough balls. Mmm. Here we go. Mmm. It's good. It's good. Mmm-hmm. I'm definitely going to be eating the rest of these. Yeah, they're good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the chocolate inside does taste like chocolate frosting that you would get, you know, like the Betty Crocker cake frosting and stuff. I like that the bread is, you know, actually like um, dough, you know, um, like a pastry. So I really like that because you don't really find that too much these days, especially not in a ready-made snack. <laughs> I couldn't eat a whole bunch of them in a row, I don't think. Why not? It just seemed like it was too rich for me or something. Of course, I like just sweet things, so. Says the man who drinks lemonade country time, country time, country time, country time, country time, after another. <sighs> Probably a gallon. <laughs> a day. I do love lemonade. <laughs> yes, okay. Anyways, so that's it. Box is empty. Mm, sad face. So I definitely like this Okashi Connection box. I can see why it's popular. They give you a good range of stuff. Yeah, I like um, this one. Yeah, yeah, it's real good. So what is your favorite thing? I like that the cheese, these things are really good. Yeah, yeah. But I kind of like this a lot. This one's good. Mine's a tie between the cheese fries and the Country Ma'am cookies. I, I guess maybe the cut. <sighs> I like the salty and I like the tartness. So my favorite tart thing was, or sweet thing was the cookies, the country moon cookies. But yeah, I really like those cheese shoe string fry things. Those yeah. were really good. So yeah, go to okashiconnection.com and order your box today and we will see you very soon, like probably even tomorrow, with another video. Bye for now. Bye.